poor little puppies was rolling around in the back during the whole chase. God, poor thing. Left a little thing. Shaking back. Scared. Probably about eight weeks old, nine weeks old. Gotta find a good home for him. Cop was down there and I told him he said, Okay, okay, stand by. Okay, okay, Man, sir. Well, what's going on? What happened to your knee? I fell chasing the guy. He chased it. What'd he do? He was in my truck. He was in your truck. Where were you? Hey, wait, go ahead. Stand over here for stand me, over buddy. Here for me, sir. Stand still for me. You need any rescue or anything? No, man. Look? Everything, my license, everything I want, that cop just said. I don't, I don't believe it. Sir, come here, wait a minute. Where were you at when he was in your truck? No, I was in the truck. You were in the truck. He mostly rode down the window. I thought he wanted something, so I cracked and rode down the window. Were you parked? I'm right over here. On the You're side. in a semi? Yes. Sir. Where are you parked at? Right over here on the side street. I need to get around here before they take the rest of my. We'll shit. get over there and go I'll check go, it on you. We'll Guess what he said? Okay. He's on his hey, way. Sir, we He's got an way. officer going down there. Okay. Charles, get a hold this of us. Guy's got were dog you hair. driving or were you parked? I was parked. This guy's stand, stand still for me, sir. Just stand still so we can talk here. Man, I can't just ran a mile. Okay. Where's your truck at? Do you know what intersection? It's on the next three over. Okay, this officer's gonna go over there and secure your truck. You want a fire department? Come here, sir. Come here, sir. I want to go with my stuff. He already stole my stuff. He's on man. his way. Sir. That's why we have an officer Give going down Give us a description there. what he looks like. Yeah, dark here. Come here. We're going to your truck. Come here, so we can find out where he's going. Sir, come here. You know what? Okay, I understand you're upset. Okay, you have every right to be upset. Hell okay? yeah, I'm upset. Everything okay. in my wallet's in there. Okay, but listen to me. You have to cooperate with me, and I have to get some information first before Who's we can find this, guy? find this guy. Okay, well, that's why I need to talk to you and get find out his description. He's got white dog hair, white. We got on white pants. Okay, come here. Dark I ain't got time to come here. Do you or do you not want us to find him? This guy's running around with all my Ex stuff. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. You don't understand. Every document is this, I got. This is your truck right here. Every document I got is okay. in that wallet. Okay. Wait right here and give me the information so I can put out a locate. Do you understand what I'm saying? Got dark hair. Okay, dark hair. Do you know his name? No, I don't know his name. Okay. He Let's... took off down there, chased him to the light. Then he came back around this way and caught him. What that one? Okay, a sweater shirt. Spanish guy, white guy? White guy, black hair, about my height, probably about my age. Was he in the truck with you at all? How many times I get to see him? Oh, sir, I pulled off. Get off the road. I was going to get some rest. I lost my other damn sheep. Where did, where did he jump in at? Right here? Did you pull over right away or was it on Central? Press charges if we find them. Why don't you come on back out here and relax a minute? I ain't going for you. Sir, if we find him. Let me ask you a question, sir. If we find him and we come across your wallet, unless we know how to contact you, there's gonna be nothing we can do. Fine. Come on back out here so we know how to get a hold of you. I'm gonna get some clothes on. He might have Why don't you come down here? We'll start looking for it. Let me get some clothes on. He said the dude grabbed his wallet and took off running. They chased him down the street. They lost him after some, supposedly there was a cop going by transporting a prisoner somewhere. And uh, he tried to flag him down, but the cop didn't see him. He was real upset about that. Said that the guy grabbed his wallet and took off running out the other side. Did he get inside the truck with him, or what did he, he say? He said, the guy flagged him over. He pulls over, opens the window to see what the guy wants. The guy reaches in and grabs the wallet, takes off running. Well, there's something going on because he has all kinds of toys and stuff. Joe, come down and talk to us, man. Sit here, let a guy get away. You won't talk. Joe, we got other officers in the area that we put out of the street. You had it. The guy had him. Joe, we didn't man. have him. He we did, didn't have man. Him. Okay. I explained that to you. Let's let us start now looking for him, okay? Let's start doing. Let's help you.
You're not letting us help you, Joe. He's saying he just reached inside, but based on, you know, the outfit that he was on, there's a bunch of cigarette butts with lipstick on the outside of the truck, so he's been here for a while. So he's looking for something specific, but I think the guy was inside the truck with him. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting spot for him to stop. Yeah. Just park his truck. Yeah. So, I mean, I have, no, I have no doubt the guy got his wallet stolen. Officer Badway found his wallet here on the sidewalk. Um, his driver's license and money uh, are in it. But the uh, three checks that he was real worried about are gone. I found one of the three checks here in the parking lot. More, more his cash is in there, his license is in there, social security card, everything he's got That's is in the there. He's got everything except for two checks right now. See? A little bit more mellow, dude, yeah. fine stuff as we go along. Nah, man, the, the thing is, I mean, this son of a bitch just stole my wallet. He's out here running free. Who's he going to do that to next? I know. And you know what? We got officers looking for him, like I said. They're combing the area. All we're concerned about right now is getting you your stuff back, Joe. That's all we want to get you is your stuff I'll back. I'll tell you, man, I don't understand the law there, Campbell. You're not going to do 42 or anything on this? Well, there's a lot more to the story than, than we'll ever know. He, uh, he's a little upset when he came up that the cop that was down there didn't help him, but... The cop was down there, had a prisoner, there's not much he could have done about that. You just can't leave your prisoner. He kind of mellowed out and was glad that we were there in the end. He came up, hated the police, and he left, I think, you know, thanking that, with it, that we helped him out. He got everything back, I think, except for two checks, and it worked out okay for him, at least. He's going to go find someplace else to sleep for the night. Okay. Well, looks like we got two females here just screaming at each other across the street. I'm going to go ahead and stop both of them and see what this is all about. Ma'am, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. John 3370, have a seat. Sit down, sit down. Sit down or I'll sit you down. John 3370. Come here. John 33750. Oh, look what you did. You scratched Have me. a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. I got kicked Sit out down. Of my home. Sit Officer, down. You don't know how much Thank you. I'm going no, I have no idea. John 33750. Uh, the cops are up at the seventh stage and they told me. No, 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 Confront you because I Well, you're all standing in the street yelling at each other. John 3370. John 337. I come back from the store and I'm kicked out. Be out with uh, two. Can you start me one more unit, please? Indiana and Central, just north. What's going on tonight? Why are y'all screaming at each other? Because I come back from the store and I'm trying to get in my room. My room's locked out. And the manager says that <laughs> kicked out because uh, she was in there. And how many the people are you supposed to have in your room? I'm there by myself. Okay, but how many people are you supposed to have in your room? I, it's only me by myself. I have. John 3370. Okay, I went down to the store. I come back. Let's see if there's any female 34s available for search. Why are we getting pulled over? Well, because you're all walking down the street screaming at each other. He pats you down, she finds drugs, you're gonna be in a lot more trouble. I might have a pipe you have a pipe? Tell me where the pipe's at. In my pants. That's you have a pipe again. in your pants? Oh, yeah, we'll okay, well we're gonna take that out of your pants, okay? Where's Is there anything else we need to know about? Don't take it out. Don't take it out. Well, I'm trying to pull. Okay, don't, don't do it. Me, okay? Okay, please don't touch me. My arms hurt. Go ahead hurt. and put your hands up here on top of your head. Interlace I know. your fingers. Interlace your fingers. All you have to do. All you have there to. There you go. Spread your legs Keep your out. fingers. Just listen to just what listen she says, to me, okay? okay? It'll be a lot easier. Where's that pipe at? Tell me. In there. Okay. In my pad. Right. Inside my Got pad. It. I'm going to check the rest of you, too, though. Keep your hands on top of your head. I'm telling her. Trying to be as honest as I can. You are. You're being honest. That you're doing the right thing, okay? <laughs> listen. Just listen to her instructions and follow them as Thank best you, you can, okay? Nice. And then watch. I'm the one that That's gets all the head. blame. I'm the one We're that gets all the blame. We're not blaming you for anything. Blame. I'm the one that has to pay for the crime. For something. 
Those are boxers. Okay, keep your hands the lighter, up there. The lighter and the pipe are done there. Hold. Keep your hands on top of your head. Keep your arms. Please don't be so squirmy, okay? That's it. The pipe and the lighter. Keep your hands See? there for now. That's all I have. I'm being honest. Go ahead and have a seat for me. Take off your shoes and hand them to me one at a time. Have a seat right there. Right there. Okay, something just right dropped out there. of her shoe right what? there. No, nothing dropped out of my shoe. That dropped out of her shoe right there. Uh, that was not in my shoe. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. For real, Put officer? Your hands that, your was not, that was not in Put my shoe. Put your hands shoe. behind your back. I saw uh, it fall out of your I shoe. Check the rest of it That's I, fine. Officer, I did not, there was nothing on my shoe because then I would have felt it when I was walking. Okay. I would have. You would have felt the. Yeah, because you could feel a little ball. It did not fall out of my shoe. Look. See if there's any crumbs or anything. See? Quit moving around. Officer, You're gonna tighten these more on you if you keep moving please, around. Officer. Not my Turn around. Please, officer. Is Erica your name? No. Go check her feet a little bit. Officer, please. Have a seat. Have a seat again. There you go. Put your foot up here. Look, there's no crumbs on my feet. I would have thought that. I mean, for real. Ow. Other foot. I mean, for real, it's off. There's nothing on my feet. I saw it come out of your shoe well, when you took where? your shoe off. No, I kind of have to pimp. It didn't appear out of nowhere. Look on the shoe. There, What's that? Uh, if you walk on dope, it cr crunches while you walk, right? Not if you have to. Have you ever walked on dope no. before? One lighter. little crack rock, one pipe, one lighter. I said I had a pipe lighter. This came out of her shoe. The pipe. This came out of her underwear in the back. And this did too. Come on back here. I'm going to go. If you lie to me, that's usually what happens. I didn't know for real. How do you not know that you have crack know. cocaine in your shoe? Have I a seat for me. It was not in my shoe. Have a seat. It's got a couple of pipes on it. Okay. That's about it right now. Well, that FEMA we just put in the car, she admitted she had the crack pipe. When she took her shoe off, this rock of crack cocaine came out of her shoe. Okay, we're pulling up to a stabbing call. Apparently a man has been stabbed in the stomach um, by a white male who just drove off in a uh, teal sunbird. Um, we're going to be pulling up on scene here. Apparently the man has been stabbed in the stomach, sounds like multiple times, and uh, rescue's on its way. What's the numerical again? Where, where is it? The, the guy who got stabbed? This is the guy who got stabbed? Yes. All right. What's up there, partner? Go ahead and take a seat for me, okay? We have paramedics coming to take a look at you. Right, I know it, but it's just something we, right. just something we have to do, though, okay? All right. All right. Okay. What happened? You want to tell me what happened? Hey, I went on the sister's house. He called me over. And then we was talking, right? Okay. And he was asking me questions. Right. Who, who was asking you questions? Call her, her Bob. Her Fiance. Fiance? Fiance? Okay. And then all of a sudden he say, nigga, get out of my house. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do me a favor and just sit down though, okay? Right I know, I know it. It's just something we got to do, okay? Let's go ahead and block off the street since he walked out here. He's been walking around. Okay, let's get both sides, Tom. What, all right, so your your sister's fiance did this? What were you guys arguing about? We went on arguing. He, he was up. drunk. Man. Okay, and then, but what happened? That he pulled out a knife and stabbed you. He hey, he went in the house. He, he went in his room, and all of a sudden, hey, I started walking out, and I turned around. Right. 
He said, yes, you are. And he started swinging a knife at me, man. Then all of a sudden. What, hey, was it a knife that he was wearing on him, or was it a kitchen yes, knife? Sir. It was a knife that he has on him? Yeah. OK. Is, is your sister still over there? My sister-in-law? Uh-huh. No. She took off with him? They jumped in the car and they took off. OK, what apartment is it over there? Right here. Uh, is it the big ones over there? No, right here. Oh, right here in the white ones? Is it on this side? Yeah? Hi, what's going on? Why don't you come out for me, okay? And talk to one of the officers, okay? I'm a quick police fireman. Anybody else inside? This is actually the sister of the offender. Um, she's really worked up right now. She was uh, in the bedroom. Uh, apparently, she witnessed the uh, stabbing. Have you, have you, uh, Listen to me. Settle down, okay? Take some deep breaths, like 10 of them. Real deep. Dishi's gonna need 43. God, please. Yeah, yeah I got it. I'm going back home. I can't stay busy. Okay, it okay, 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 okay. okay, looks like we actually have the uh, fender around the corner. Uh, the vehicle drove up, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take him into custody. Mirandize him. All right, listen up, both of you, okay? Can we get up? All right, hold on, hold on, not yet, okay? okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court okay. of law. You have the right to an attorney. In the event you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. So we do. Hold on, you have the right to have this attorney present before and during any questioning if you wish. Do you guys understand those rights? Yes. Okay. I'm going to sit you up, okay? okay? Roll over. Just sit up on one of your legs. There you go. Just sit there, sit down. Trish, Trish, oh, and my brothers. No, oh, what's wrong? Oh, I can't breathe. Calm I can't down. Breathe. I Slow can't down. Breathe. Your husband? Yes. I can't breathe. Are you here? Yeah. Uh, what happened? Well, you'll have to hang on. I've just explained to him, but right now I gotta take care of him. Oh, 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 Rhonda, calm down. Rhonda, look at me. Calm down. Slow your breathing now. You want to drink water? Right now we had one victim that was uh, transported for a knife wound to the stomach. Um, we have a witness here um, who apparently is the, the victim's sister-in-law. Um, there was some sort of altercation uh, between her uh, fiancé and the victim, and uh, the victim was stabbed. Uh -huh. yeah, you can have to stay outside oh. of the Go to the other side. He hit me. And whatever. Good luck. We did nothing. They hit me. Okay, who hit you? Somebody hit me or something, but I just threw his arm. I've been hit like three times in the last month. Okay. Who hit you today? I don't know. Did they stop? Well, I don't know. You mean in your car? What did you stop me for? Well, I'm going to explain all that to you in just a second. Do you have anything you want to tell me first? No, nope, I got hit. Okay. Why don't, you, why don't you tell me what happened over back at the apartments? I don't know. You don't know? The apartment? Yeah. What? No, there are nothing happening. What? Did, you get, did you get into an argument with Charles? Uh, Charles? Did Corey got a friend named No, I didn't. No? No, I didn't. Okay. No, Sit. I didn't. Okay. Sit tight then. You're, that's your, uh, your, your cousin. Um, actually, what basically happened, Sarge, is we were all over there still at the scene. Um, the FI saw the vehicle pull around the corner. Um, he called out that he probably had the vehicle, so we took off running around the corner. And sure enough, the vehicle had come over the curb, parked here. Um, Hence the two flat tires. Yeah, exactly, two front tires, flat. And uh, we ordered him out of the vehicle, took uh, the two adults in custody. <laughs> We're going to assist an officer who's doing a traffic stop. I don't know why he's pulling him over. He's right up here. And it looks like the guy doesn't want to stop. He's going to be taken off northbound through the alley. Frank 222 is with him. We'll call it. This officer tried to pull over the vehicle and the driver's now running, unknown why. Still going northbound through the alley.
Pity we're in a foot chase. He's running across Broadway towards the Hispanic Cultural Center. Now. Got him, Pity. Get on your feet! Get your arms out now! Can you find your out? Oh. 22, Pity, we have him in custody. Okay. Oh, my car. Huh? They slammed him on in front of me. Oh, my God. Where are you Huh? Back Let's there in the, back alley. in the alley with my car attached to the bumper. Anybody still in it? Female. There's a female in there. Little clue when you go to steal a car, mm -hmm. I know how to function it. What's the actual 20? Right to that, right there. You see where that? See where the light is on that building? Right yeah. to the right of Directly it. east of it. Also? Yeah, he yeah. slammed him on and my car slid right through all that gravel back there. Not hard enough to knock my airbag out. Is your car out with this car? Huh? Is your car out with Yeah, they're both sitting right over there. But this car is behind mine. Stand up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present before and during any questioning if you wish. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you free of charge. You have the right to stop answering any questions or making any statements at any time. Do you understand what I just told you? Couldn't get the car to go. He's doing like five, four or five miles an hour. And then he starts speeding up and then stuttering. He almost came to a stop in the middle of the intersection. And that time I turned on my lights to pull him over and he started pulling off the side of the road like he was going to stop, hit the first alley and took off going north. And about four, five uh, blocks north. He slammed on the brakes in the gravel. I ended up tapping into him from the from behind my car slid into his. He bailed out, left the female in the car, took off running, and caught him about a block and a half away. He said he's out on parole. He just got out after nine years. He's got a parole violation outstanding. Your neighbor, Boney? Well, she's in the one in the car. You want him yeah. in your car? I don't know if my car's going anywhere. Okay. I got her number in my wallet. She's got my brother in law. Okay. Who's this here? That's a friend. <laughs> I picked her up just now. She was hitchhiking. Just a little, <laughs> Just a little, Just a little bit. bit. By the time I get there, it's gonna it's coming around. This is the first time I've seen him in years. When I was walking and he took me to his brothers, he was gonna take me to my friends. So. How do you know him? I I know him from the neighborhood. So then you know he shoots up. Well, back then he didn't shoot up. Well, when he got the heroin tonight, how come he didn't? He didn't. Get out? He didn't. You got a needle in the car. You got a cooker him, in the car. I didn't see him with the with the heroin. So. So whose needle is it then? His, I guess. You guess? It's out this side of the door. It must have been there when I got in because he just picked me up by, on Williams. And I wouldn't carry a needle without no top. Without what? Without a top. You know this guy just got out of prison, right? No, I didn't. Hi there. We got a bad guy in the back of the police car over here that claims he's got a bad heart. Poor little puppies was rolling around in the back during the whole chase. God, poor thing. Left the little thing. Shaking bad. Scared. That's probably about eight weeks old, nine weeks old. Got to find a good home for him. Don't know if anybody's going to claim him here as to who it is. The girl says it's not hers. He's going to jail, so. Shame. We had a bottle methadone. of methadone. The methadone's sitting right there. It's right here. The methadone's right here. He only took half a bottle so he could, you know. 
He said he didn't. He said he didn't shoot heroin. He shot cocaine. Oh, the girlfriend shot the heroin. Can we cut her loose? Yeah, she's negative. Okay. Yeah, I come to find out, it ends up being as a probation violation or parole violation. He was in, spent nine years in prison and just got out to. Shooting up cocaine. Shooting, yeah. She said he shot up some cocaine. It's got some heroin in there and methanol and or methadone and takes off. And basically, we're left with his girlfriends or wives. He can't decide who it is. His vehicle and this puppy. We have no idea where it, who the owner is. We're going over to help a couple of the bike units that are out with a subject. Um, see if they need any assistance. They're out with a female, and a lot of times they need female officers to search those people. So we're going to see what they've got. Mm -hmm. Curse 4, we had a 21 from the deputy, and uh, her father is in route. Mm -hmm. I have another needle on this one, Hi. Just give her a quick What's your up. name? Reina. Yeah. Step back a second. Arena? Reina. 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 Got anything? Tell me no. now. I ate surprises. No, nothing on me. No other syringes? No, no more dope? No. Okay, turn around this way. You wearing a bra? Nope. Why don't you take your shoes off for me? People loitering in your parking lot. Yeah. Neat boots. Thank you. What is that? Is that anything? No. There's hair on my bet you. Is there? Hmm? Huh? There we go. Going to detox. You can go talk to her. I'm um, set it up. I'm going to get together. I am. Adam 323, Adam yeah, is out with them also. Yeah, you couldn't see because of the blood. Adam 323, Adam. How old are you? 24. I have a social worker. She doesn't want me to get on methadone. I know. Well, that's okay Maybe. if she doesn't, but but this is no good either. I know. Staying it's not. on the heroin is no good. I've been going to AMC. I walk in and I already took her the papers and everything. You know, talk to her. She wants me to get outpatient treatment from CASA. That's what I'm trying to do. I've been have going been there, there every day. Yes. Have you been there today? No, not today. I went yesterday and I was going tomorrow. And I already got my papers sent to her and everything. Honey, at the rate you're going at 24, you're going to look like you're 60 and we're going to find you dead back here in one of these I alleys. I already got my appointment set up for uh, Turquoise Lodge. Okay. Um, inpatient treatment. Okay, when do you go? In three weeks. You told me that, you told me that a month ago. I'm serious, I was depressed. You know, my husband read that stupid letter. He me over. Who is your social worker? Angeline. What kind of letter is this? It's a love letter because he wants me back because he, you know, This guy over. right here? No, my husband. Oh, and where is your husband? In jail. That's why I'm, I have to get money in the bank. My money, me and my mom have a joint account. I'm saving up to get, for when I get out of treatment to get the kids back. How many kids do you have? Four. How old are they? Five, three, no, two and one. Five, three, two and one? Two months. Two months. Two months old. Just, just Where are they at? With my mother. Last time I talked to you, you were clean. You said you were getting treatment. You look awful right now. Uh, my husband got out of jail. He's looking for me. He's trying to kill me. He tried to kill me when I was four months pregnant with the He's baby. out of jail now? Yes. Well, where'd you get this letter from? From the, I just got it yesterday from the jail. I mean, from uh, my friend Jake. So where is your husband now? I don't know. Out of jail, he's looking for me. How do you know that? Because I, everybody told me. He used to tell me. He's tried to kill me. When did he do that? When I went to the UNM hospital. He, when I was four months pregnant, he bashed my teeth in. 
broke my two teeth out. Oh, he's in jail for that. He just got out for that. Well, what happened when we put him in jail last year? How, how much time did he do? I don't know. He did a whole bunch of time. No, he hasn't gotten out for very long. Why were you with the guy in the alley earlier today? He was giving me a ride. Yeah, but you were parked. You were stopped. He had a condom on the dashboard. That, that was open. Mine. Yeah, but it was right there on the dashboard. You so what? His little girl's hair clip was up there too. I don't know what he does. How much are you using? How much am I using? About five dollars a day. Five dollars of heroin a day? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's why I'm already all ready to go to uh, AMCI in my outpatient treatment before I go to Turkey. This Lodge. is more than a five dollar day. Oh, yeah, that would last me a week. So how big was it four days ago? About twice that size. Test me, you can test my urine. I have very little heroin in me, but I still got diarrhea and all this. I'm still sick. Take me down on misdemeanor charge of trespassing. Okay, ready? These, these people want to play out here. She's trespassing, and they're doing a good thing with that needle exchange program. Uh, she can have a dirty needle, she has the card. She can't have the heroin. Nope, that's still against law in New Mexico. It's good law. Well, hopefully she'll still be alive tomorrow. Hope so. 10-4, be Central, California. Apparently, this fem Apparently this female I'm approaching uh, was brandishing a knife at a se local security guard. Put the bags down for me, okay? Put the bags down for me. Do it now, okay? Okay? I need you to go ahead and kneel down right there, okay? Face that way. Turn around that way. Face that way. Turn all the way around. Okay. I'm gonna tell you guys my situation before I could, the manager, I was in room number five. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, I'm gonna stand up again. You guys are fixing the camera. Thank you. Spread your legs for me. I am gonna spread my legs. And quit pulling my hair, please. Um, you're, Put your head you're forward, okay? Coffee, but Put you're... your head forward, okay? I am, but don't pull my hair. I'm not pulling your hair. Yes, you are. Okay, relax. Okay. I am relaxed. You're yelling, okay? Relax for me. Okay, but okay. quit treating me like I'm some kind of stupid ass, okay? I know you guys are fixing the handcuff, me, so do it. Okay. I'm trying to run from you guys or nothing. Okay, hang on a second, spread your legs again. One second, I'll spread my legs. Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't have any weapons on me. Have a seat right here for me, okay? I know that this, um, can I ask you a question? Have a seat for me. Can I ask you when I'm being under, what I'm... You're just being detained right now, you're not under arrest, okay? okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Okay. You have the right to have an attorney, and if you can't afford one, one will be appointed at free charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happened at the hotel over there? PJ went and with a stick. He went in with a stick. And okay, he, slow down, okay. Tried, okay. Who's PJ? PJ, the manager. Okay. And, and he went in there, and he scared the holy living out of me. And I, yes, I did make a big scene because he got all up in my face. And then this security guard... Don't, don't kick your okay, legs, this okay. This security guard over here coming over here talking all kinds of saying that I threatened to kill him and get the off my property he could he could he could say it nicely and yes i did tell him because he has no i mean you know what i mean he has no right just to treat me just the way he wants to just because he's a security guard try yeah, to relax I okay i'm trying to relax okay you're talking really fast okay just try and relax and tell us the story a little bit slower okay okay did you have a knife did i have a knife yeah. no i didn't have a knife at no time you had a knife no i didn't have a knife okay do you know why anybody would t tell me that you had a knife? I don't know why anybody would tell you that I had a knife. Okay. Maybe he was um, seeing things. You guys should look in my bag. Maybe it was something else. But what the hell am I going to do with the knife? I don't know. The re reports are that you had a knife and you were waving it at security. Okay. Where did the knife go? Where did what knife go? Apparently there was a knife over there. Okay. A knife where? With you over at the hotel. 
Um, I don't know. I'm serious. What kind of knife you guys are talking about or what? I mean, uh, I had a little pocket knife. Maybe it's in room number five, but... You had a pocket knife? I mean, maybe... No, there's a little pocket knife in room number five, one of them little safety things. Is that the little, one you were holding earlier? No, I wasn't holding it. It's a little tiny little... You guys will probably find it over there. One of those things that has a little can opener and all that kind of stuff. I okay. mean, I, I think I left it in room five. I don't know, but I don't carry no knives with me. I, I really learned that lesson. <laughs> Okay. How about that one right there? What about which one? How about that knife right That's there? Not my knife. You haven't had it under your possession at all tonight? Mm, um, no, I haven't had it under my possession at all tonight. What am I going to do with the big old steak knife? I'm not sure. Okay, well, okay hang tight for a minute. I saw the manager, PJ, in an altercation with her and the other subject, John. Um, she got up into his face. That's when I got out of my vehicle. She started walking away. I asked her what she was doing here. She says, um, he's getting in my face. He came banging on my door with a stick, yada, yada, yada. I asked her that she needed to leave the property, and she's like, oh, I'm leaving. I was like, do you remember who I am? She's like, yes, I remember you. And she's like, okay. all sorts of stuff. I advised her again to leave. She continued, so I pulled out my pepper spray to get her to get moving because she wasn't moving. Mm -hmm. That's when the knife came out, and I drew my weapon on her. She walked off. What'd she do with the knife? She, she was going like this, waving around like this. Okay. While she was walking away. Were you, write, were you write a statement about what happened? Okay. Great. I want you to think where you would keep him if you had him because I don't Okay, wanna... well, in my pockets. Okay. So I don't want to poke myself. I get very angry when that happens. Okay, well, I'm letting you know that, that to be honest, I can't, I can't say yes or no, okay? Yeah, I know you get very angry and I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to say uh, yes or no. Um, relax, relax, relax. I am relax, relax, relax. Okay, okay can, I, can I put my pants back up or sure. something? Can we do it for you? Yes, please. Have a seat. Okay. It's a less than a half a mile away. Why are you renting a room at the Sand and Sage? Why, do, why am I renting a room at the Sand and Sage? Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious to you because I smoke crack, right? Okay. The crack and, hotel. And what does that mean? Does that mean that just because I smoke crack, the manager has the right to do what he wants? Is that no. what you're saying? Okay, no. then. Yeah, she's under arrest. Thank you so. Good. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, you're under arrest for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, okay? Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on who? On the security officer. Okay, um, how how am I under arrest for okay. for that if you guys didn't see it? Or, okay. Um, just because he says so, is that why? I mean, I'm not trying to hesitate or resist arrest or nothing because I know I'm going to jail. Okay. Well... Uh, to be honest with you, his story seems credible. We found a knife in the area. Okay. You told me that there was an altercation. Yeah, there uh, was witnesses altercation. are indicating that the story is true, okay? Uh, yeah, but okay, there was an altercation. Okay, I need you to come over here to the police car. Yeah. Come on, man, let's go. Yeah. Thanks, George. Basically, we had a assault with a deadly weapon there. Um, the offender uh, brandished this knife at, at the uh, security guard, uh, placing him in fear of his life. Um, we placed her under arrest. After doing so, we also found a, uh, some drug paraphernalia, a crack pipe, and a needle. Uh, 911 operator said she sounds pretty upset on the phone tonight on the callback, so uh, we'll see, what, see what's going on. It's right there. Here we are. Sí, un poquito, señora. Sí, mire, se llevaron la cruz grande de aquí, son chicanos de aquí. La cruz grande de mi esposo, el mío. Quiero que entre en China. Okay, espera un momento. She's saying that the young kids, they know it's she's turned it into a church, that they keep throwing rocks at her house. They throw it at her cross, they throw it at her sign, up at her front window and her porch. Come on, come on. ¿Tú sabes esa persona, señora? No, it's not broken. She's saying they wrecked her yard and they threw stuff at the... They were throwing rocks at the stuff in her yard. Señora, cierra el teléfono, ponos. Ponos, ponos debajo. Un momento. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Some bugs and stuff crawling around you. Is it for his wife? Yes, okay. 
Okay, this is uh, this document saying that her husband, Manuel Urban, where his grave is up in Santa Fe, he, he just recently died, and she's turned her house into a church and a sanctuary in memory of him, and that he was connected to, uh, he was in the army. Señor, ¿qué es la problema esta noche? Vivo América. ¿Cuántos años en este país, señora? Esta tierra es mía. Esta es mía. Por Dios, ayúdenme, por Dios. Que no se meta aquí nadie, ¿ok? Let's go out front and talk. Deme su mano. Sí. Abrázame. Ok. Abrázame. Ok, señora. Ok. Lo quiero, ok. Con el alma, okay. Okay. No es problema, no es problema, ¿ok? ¿Qué necesitas este no? ¿Es de aquí? Abre su cuarto. ¿Dónde está su pájaro? ¿Es de aquí? Yo quiero morando. Abre su puerta, por favor. Yo quiero. Yo quiero, amor. Vamos ahora, señora, ¿ok? Si tienes otros problemas, tú necesitas el teléfono de la policía. Pregunta, pregunta, pregunta a mí. Ok, she said there's no problem. They were throwing rocks at her window. They leave her alone now. She said, she, 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 the young kids in the neighborhood are bugging her that, uh, that it's okay now that we're here. And they'll still leave her alone now that we're here. And if she knows, she's going to call us if she has any other problems. Ok. Ok, señora. Ok. Tienes otro problema, tu teléfono a la policía esta noche. Ok, señora. Ok. Muchas gracias, señora. Ok. Ok, señora. Ustedes son mis hijos. Porque usted no sabía que yo perdí cuatro niños con ustedes, policías. Ok. Ok, señora. Adiós. Adiós. Ok, señora. Okay, Muchas okay. gracias. Adiós esta noche. Ok. Dude, that's definitely a first for me. <laughs> the, uh, I have never the bird, been attacked by a bird before. I thought the bird was going to bite your foot off. I didn't the, think you were uh, going to make it out of there. I've heard stories of the attack bird, but I've never <laughs> seen it. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, was, he, she, was she telling it to attack with No, that she was saying I thought the, she was trying to keep it she away. She was saying That's the police she, are good, the police are good. We got one of our bicycle units that's trying to stop a guy that's trying to get away from him. He's also on a bicycle. I guess he ran from him earlier. He has him up here at one of the motels. He just called for another unit. So we're real close. In fact, we're right here right now. Can you call it 324? Okay. I got my cuffs on me. Another guy up there. Where Kevin is, he ditched us. It's uh, Louisiana. 
Okay. And uh, Catherine, we park, get on our bikes, start riding around again. I see him on the bike. He's down here. He's coming to the motel. And this, he, he didn't see me right up behind him, and I caught him this time, though. But we went around the corner, he went through this alley, and he was gone. Okay. So, Get him up. Oh, yeah. I got him. He had a little bit of marijuana on him. Well, bring this hey, up. Uh, they said they weren't called, but it was logged on the call in 2139. Do you have an idea on you at all? No, sir. Nothing at all? How come you ran? Because I had weed. That stuff, is that all you have on you yeah, right there? Nothing weed. else. I'm not going to find anything sharp, am no, I? No, sir. What is that right there? What is it? Correct. I'm gonna put his money down right behind you. Cool. How much? Okay, I'll be right back. How come you told me you didn't have anything else? Sit down right there. Have you ever had a New Mexico ID or driver's license? Yes, sir. Nothing at all? Yes, sir. What's in your bag? What's your first name? What's your first name? Look, you can either tell me your name, or you can be arrested under John Doe under this stuff, and that means you'll stay in there forever until they find out who you're at, who you are. Okay? So that you, you, it's in your best interest just to tell me who you are. I mean, you're not going to be going anywhere. I mean, but by you not telling me who you are, it's not like we're going to let you go. True. What's your first name? Oscar. What is her name? Monica. And she has your baby right now? I just want to kiss my daughter goodbye. That's all I want to do. Should we do it for, for the for, uh, distribution? Are you Monica? Yes. Hi. Hi. What is your boyfriend's name? Okay. Which is what, 30? The one that went to get a, go out and get the milk. Why? Okay. Well, he's... He's kind of in a little bit of trouble. Okay. Right downstairs. Okay. Um, is your you have a one year old daughter in here? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, basically, we have him with a pretty good sized amount of crack and some weed and some cash. Okay. What is his name? Daniel. His name's Daniel. Oh God. We basically really need to find out who he is. Does he have an ID inside here at all? No. You okay? Oh, man. Mind if I come in and make sure everything's okay? Oh, the baby out? Yes. Oh, Does he have a New Mexico ID? No. Okay. Where's he from? Um, I think in here. How old is he? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Look, I, I, I can't. Well, you know what? I have no family out here. Are you worried about if you tell tell us the information that he's going to leave you or what? Because he's, he's going to be going to jail anyways, okay? I mean, with the amount that he has on him, I mean, he's going to jail, okay? There's no, there's no way out of that, okay? It makes our job a lot easier if we find out who, he, you know, what his name is. I mean, if we get that information, that just speeds up the process. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to spend all night long trying to find out who he is. Okay. He's trying to tell us that he's never had a ticket, never been arrested. I mean, for some reason, I'm not believing him. Okay. What's his real name? Is he a Daniel? What's going to happen with what? Well, we're going to see if we can talk to talk to them in a little bit here. Deal with it. Sorry, baby. Sorry, mama. Sorry, mama. Okay. Sorry, I love you so much, though, okay? Oh, bye, Lee. Bye, 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 Daddy. Bye, Mama. Give him kisses. Give him kisses. Okay.
Are you on three? We'll be up in a second, let you know everything that's going on, okay? Okay. It's a, a sad situation. I mean, no one really wins here. Here's an 18-year-old girl, one-year-old daughter. Gonna have to find a place to live now. We were able to find out from another officer that the suspect's real name, and it turns out he has a felony warrant for burglary and another felony warrant for uh, trafficking. So this is his, his second offense there, so he's gonna be gone for a while. Maybe it's better, you know, maybe this way she can she can separate from him, from him somehow. your fingers behind your head. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Charge 337, calling BK38. Interlace them. Did you, cr did you pr crack the window, dude? No, he was no. knocking on the window and he was busting. No, I didn't crack that window, no. What should I do? We were just arguing because... It's a 20. Bike 38, can you buy there in 20 for charge 337? Spread your legs. What's going on tonight? Spread your legs. Great. Hey, be quiet. Bring my hat. Be quiet. Bring my hat out here. Hey, you don't need to be talking to her. I know, I know. Ricky, what's going on? No, I'm near my girlfriend. This guy knows. What happened to the window? That's all. I don't know what happened there. How come we got a couple calls saying that you were out here thumping on her? You guys fighting? No, I wasn't even out here. You weren't even out here? I just came over here. You got some cuts on your yeah. finger that didn't happen from the window? Yeah. What happened? I just came over here and I was locking the door because me and your liver. I'll pay for it. So that's not a result of what was going on between you and your girlfriend tonight? No. Hey. I paid for the room. My girlfriend had the door locked and I told her to let me in. She wouldn't let me in. So I busted the window. How come she wouldn't let you in? You paid for the room, right? Yeah. Okay, so how come she wouldn't let you in? Because she was uh, doing some other business with her friend. Like what? Be I honest. Don't know whatever she does. What friend? I don't know, some white chick around here somewhere. Okay, what do you mean business? Were they doing drugs or what were they doing? I don't know, some. I don't know, man. We're going to go talk to her. What you work for? What's going on tonight? Okay, well, I mean, we don't get called when nothing's going on. I know Obviously, we were standing just... out there arguing all these neighbors, and I don't know. Okay, what were you guys arguing about? <coughs> I don't know. Ma'am, I mean, what is your first name? Because I'm jealous, that's what I'm... Okay, that's what you guys are arguing about? What are you jealous about? <laughs> because I think you see girl. I'm sorry, what? Who, uh, who was in the room with you? That one girl, I don't even know From who Seattle? she is. Okay, he said you guys were in here doing your thing. What were you doing? I wasn't doing nothing. That girl was just talking to me and giving me a mixed drink. All you've done tonight is drink? Yeah. Nothing else? She gave me a mixed drink and she was just telling me about Seattle or that you, she's been you... out here for 12 days and she's been a hooker and she was telling me how it was to be a hooker because I wanted to make some money. So you're actually considering being a prostitute? I was trying to. Why? You think you need to do that? Hmm? How old are you? 19. 19 years old? Why would you ever even consider being a prostitute? <laughs> Just for the money? Huh?
Listen to me. Look at me. Look, you're going to school and you're working. You don't need to, you know what? You don't need to go down that route, okay? Seriously, hey, look at me. Look at me. You don't want to go down that route. You're 19 years old, okay? That is not a glamorous life at all. Does your, your boyfriend know that you're considering taking up that career? No. How do you think he would feel about it? You got a long, long life ahead of you. So just really think about things before before you do something, okay? Stay in school. I'm gonna talk to him now and if everything I mean if if you guys feel like it's gonna be fine from here on out, then we'll leave you alone. Well, she actually wants to talk to you. I guess she's a little bit insecure about you thinking that I guess you're messing around. Well messing around. I I'm just saying, you know, that's what she's thinking, so you need to ha have a talk with her, okay? I love her, and I take care of her and everything. I pay for the rooms. Well, go work it out with her. All right, right on. Right. Have any that advise you? 137 SO. 137. Gonna be going uh, Rio Grande Northbound from Candelaria. That's um, We got a report of shots fired at a PD unit. Go uh, we got the vehicle northbound on rims. Uh, let's say there were shots fired at one of the police officers, Albuquerque police officers. I'm just going to try and catch up to them here pretty quick. Okay, we're still trying to catch up to the vehicle. Apparently, he's on rims. Uh, shouldn't be a little, little ways ahead of us. One of our units is almost out with him. Okay, vehicle's accelerating. We're gonna, 303 is gonna attempt a pit maneuver. Still northbound Rio Grande, I'll call it, SO. Get a good spot to get to the side of him. 48 Casey, he is 1080. Direct audience, he is 1080. Shots were fired. She's gonna pit him. 274 standing by, South Rio Grande and Alameda. There she goes, there she goes. We're gonna attempt to pit, stand by. Three seven is just passing uh, Rio Grande and Ortega still northbound. Rio Grande and Ortega. Four. Oh, she missed him. Spin him, Case, spin him. She's gonna attempt the pit maneuver up here, which is a pursuit intervention technique. Uh, try to stop the vehicle. There's oh she missed him. No, she didn't miss him. There's some oncoming traffic up here. We've got to make sure this traffic is uh, shut down. Okay, here we go. She's gonna get him here. 274, I got a visual on him. Come my way. Is traffic shut down? Please She's gonna get him now. 37 SO 49, we're approaching Alameda. Okay, she's pitted him, pitted him. Pit him, pit him. Get him, guys, get him. Hit him again, guys. 274, he's still running. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get out the car, get out the car! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get your hands straight up, straight up! Straight up, straight up! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Get on the ground! Car's clear! Car's clear! Three seven, so we've got him. One in custody. 
We're going to meet Alameda and Rio Grande. Go and start uh, 43. So you're back here, Alameda and Rio Grande? Affirmative. You just start us at 43. Okay, stand Where's primary? Go ahead and get him, Carl. Thank you for your help. Who pitted? I did. Let me see your car. Is your car bad or no? Okay. All right. Yeah. Turn around on me. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Okay, apparently what we had was uh, this subject's been running from APD uh, about five different times. Every time our helicopter goes down, he would uh, uh, possibly commit uh, some armed robberies and whatnot. I think this is about the fifth time he's run, so they've got him in custody. We're gonna wait for our traffic units on the pit maneuver here, and we'll go from there. Okay, where were you and what happened? I was sitting on the right-hand side. The vehicle turned around, came back at me, hit me head on. I accelerated in, trying to force him into the uh, a sign, pin him in, and he just okay. continued into it. Take a deep breath, man. It's okay. Casey, you okay? She's fine. Good. You okay? Just a little uh, <laughs> pride now. She has a couple flat tires, you know. Good job. Cool. Good job, man. Good job. Good, 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 good call. <coughs> that was fun. Huh? That's, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Is that your first pit? Well, other than, other than the academy? Other than the academy. But, you know, it was only, what, six months ago That's that I bad. did the pits? That was good, Casey. They're fun, huh? Oh, yeah. Actually, my two tires popping and not being able to chase them any further wasn't too fun. These are, these are the kind of things we like being in law enforcement for, yeah. especially seeing the bad guy go do down that? like Mixing that. Job you just, you just come well, that's the same guy that, I don't know if you heard about it, but he's the same guy that ran from APD last night yeah, like shot seven times. Right. Yeah. I mean, he'd that's been definitely. shooting at APD. He'd been shooting at us, and he's... Was a suspect yeah, I was trying to find out robbery, what so. side it was coming from. I didn't know how many suspects were in it because I kept going it's side to side. Right but he was right in the middle, so I couldn't I couldn't yeah. get to the side without getting on the dirt. So that's good. You did a good job on the pit. The, the thing is, I mean, we don't every day we don't stop a car like this. Oh, but no. this guy definitely had to be stopped, and that's that's why the training and pit maneuvers is real necessary to use them times like this. But uh, you were trained to stop him, and you stopped him. And all of a sudden, my adrenaline went. Phew. I was like, oh man. Yeah, so you, you got like, that adrenaline high. I was like, yay. You won't be able to sleep. I want to do it. <laughs> okay, we're en route to a, uh, a disturbance call. Uh, we have a, a female who is, uh, she actually calls uh, 911 quite a bit. Um, and today she's calling because uh, apparently she's very emotionally upset over something that's made her sad today. So we're going to go down there and have a talk with her, see if we, we can do to help her out. Edward 321. She's very upset and says that somebody's trying to make her leave her home. And she doesn't want to leave today. And actually, uh, the dispatcher noted herself, it says, uh, this call sounds different than usual. Charlie, 323 cop. That's right. Yeah, um, he was just saying that, I mean, she, she's having, having problems almost every day now. But. All right. We got to go into right here, actually. Right here? Yeah. Watch that little guy, because he, he'll nip at your ankles, but he'll be all right. He'll get back to Por qué? Dígame. Dígame. Mercedes. Mercedes. Mercedes, háblame. ¿Qué pasó? ¿O sí? ¿Por qué no? ¿O sí? Sí. 
Sin... Yo sé que ustedes no quiero vivir. Sin, sin nosotros. Lamento por ustedes. Labios, labios. Yo sé, pero ¿por qué estás llorando y todo eso? Por alegría. Sí. Alegría. Sí. Pero, pero ¿por qué está llorando? ¿Ah? Dígame, háblame, háblame. ¿Me ayuda? ¿Entiendes, no? ¿Quieres, ¿Quieres hablar con el doctor? Right now she's upset. She's saying that she can't si no live with... Policía, no quiero comer yo. She said she can't live without quiero police officers. That we need to have police officers come over every day. She wants to have police officers living in her house. Yo sé. And the, this is a police house from this moment on. How about if come, she could see a police officer once a day just to stop by and check on her? I, I just informed her that that's pretty much what we do already. Right. And, uh, and that's not good enough. She wants somebody living here. No? Yo no puedo vivir, no puedo comer si un policía no vive aquí. Porque yo de este mundo me voy a ir ya. Soy muy enferma, pero esta casa es de la policía, toda la herencia a mí es de la policía. She wants us to understand she's not going to eat, she's not going to uh, live any longer unless there's a police officer here. And if there's not a police officer that's going to live here, then she's going to leave this world very soon. I think we're going to wind up having a... Can I take her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's ask her if she'll go with me to my car. Okay. She'll go for a ride with me. Vamos, vamos bueno, con nosotros, bueno? ¿Dónde? Va a hablar con un doctor, porque yo no voy a... You know, no, es que decir mentiras. Ahorita muy bien, pero yo quiero sí. un testamento que anda haciendo. Y yo sé doctores, eso. Pero nomás, te, nomás sí. tienes que hablar con él. Y nosotros vamos a llevarla. She said, vamos para adentro. Oh, yes. Come on, come on. Sorry, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Aquí, siéntate, por favor. Bueno, necesitamos ir al doctor, bueno, nomás para hablar no. y lo, lo tra trae para atrás con nosotros, bueno, porque, porque necesitas. Police is good. And I told her. Yo sé, yo sé eso, yo sé que, que quieres que nosotros vivamos aquí, pero no podemos. Ellos retraten la casa y todo. Ah, Esto es un testamento por ustedes. Necesitas otros. Nosotros vamos a llevarla. Pero quiero que miren adentro también. ¿Y lo, y lo, y lo, lo vamos o, o no? Un momento, sorry. She wants us to wait until she sweeps up. Well, right now she's got a gigantic bird on a broom and she's sweeping him into the room. She already took him around the corner. No, oh, not the one. Para hablar con un doctor. Vámonos, qué suave Mercedes, gracias, bueno. Mercedes, aquí. Vámonos, gracias. Right now, uh, she's agreed to go with us voluntarily to talk to a psychologist. Come on. She's just very upset. Recently, she had her husband pass on, and we're still feeling those effects. I'm going to lock it up for her. Her husband was a uh, paraplegic, and she uh, he was responsible. She was responsible for taking care of him. So she's been very upset ever since. Going five six now, Gary, from the east. Going five six on the twenty seventh, we advise them. You guys get an apartment number? One twenty. This is not a twenty seventh, is it? Can't see the numbers. I can't either. You think it's on the other side? Got one.
Open the door. Police department. Hurry. Oh, false. Don't go. Got blood. Watch your hands. Let him go. Back off. Go ahead and let him go. They've got him tied up. Yes, as we get this out. Uh, go ahead and get that hand. Go ahead and cut that hand. Go ahead. Sit him up. Find what the injuries are and what's going on. Okay. He's got his pants down, too. Go ahead and roll over, man. I think he's 20. I think he's 10 or 10 for the 27-3. I'm not sure. Well, let me get my clothes on, Dan. 4355? Mom, let me get my clothes on. 4355. Yeah, Approximately 17 years of age. Need some ID. What's your name? Manoa. Man. Breathing. Get it, that's too bad, man. He's no special cop. 4355. Did you check his backside? His pockets? Yeah. There's nothing in there. There's that. Relax, I'm not giving you no hard time at all. Well, why? We just, dude, we just untied you. We're trying to help you out here. What's going on? Is he, is he your brother, son, friend? I'm his mom at that time. I mean, this is my sister. Yeah, my brother. Okay, do you guys all live together here? No, no he no? just came by. Uh, he just okay. came by today, and he came by today after I got off work. Okay. He was here. Okay. Looks like he was all spoon or something. Okay, what happened? What started? What started all? He of was getting mad at me and everything. Over what? I don't we'll know. He, we caught, tried to calm him down, and he. That's when I told him to help me. He started. He uh. He tried to choke his mom. Yeah. That's why he started from there. He's going crazy. He, he's been at the boys' home. Been at the boys' home? Yeah. But what started? Something happened. He didn't, didn't just all of a sudden explode, no. right? No. He wanted to go because I told him to stay here. He wanted to go to his friend's house. Okay. And I told him to stay he here. Did he, he get in trouble over there or what? Yes. When Probably, he gets uh, with his friends, he gets he in came trouble. Over and he wanted to eat, so. Okay. Where's the other guy who was here? Do you want that guy? Did he take off? Go grab him. Okay. What else happened? That's it. And we tried to calm him down, so he started buying us and everything. So we, that's when we, um, he told to call the cop. He told me to call the cops. So. Now we're trying to calm him down. He tried to sneak out. Is he the one who did that to your nose up yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. And he was hitting me. Hit you in the face? Yeah. But um, he kicked me in the face too. But trying to calm him down, he was like a snail, snail or something like that. Okay. Trying to hold him down. He just said he wanted to beat him a little bit, so I man. Okay, we're here to help you now, okay, guys? We're gonna make sure you're not hurt too bad. Let's look at your face. Yeah, kick in the face. Let's clean his face up. Want to sit down? Yeah, go ahead and sit down. What's happening here is there's some sort of uh, family fight. I guess the boy wanted to go visit a friend, but he's every time he visits a friend, he winds up in D home. So mom said no this time. Apparently the argument turned physical. Um, this is her brother, would make him his, the uncle. He wound up trying to help keep the kid here. The kid wound up hitting him in the face and kicking him in the face. And uh, he this held him down. Him in the face, this guy? No, the guy in there. And then uh, that's that's when we got here. He wanted to leave. I told him he can't go because okay. it's dark at night. You're his mom? Uh-huh. You're his mom? Yep. And he just got like this because he wanted to go out of the house? He wanted to go to his friend's house. She said uh, he always wants to go to his friends, and every time he goes yeah. to his friends, he, he winds up at the D-hole. He drunk and everything. He just went wild. We're cooking for him and everything. He came over here just to eat. He said he was okay, who hungry. Who kicked him in the nose? Nobody. We were trying to restrain Nobody. him. He was bleeding. We were trying to restrain him. How did his nose get messed up? His nose is Nah, nobody kicked him in the nose. Nobody. Come on, man. Come on, man. Apparently, at this time, uh, because of some injuries to his nose, He's going to go ahead and be transported. Um, apparently, he went off on his family because he wouldn't, want, wouldn't let him go to his friend's house. 